What's going on guys, Spoon here, back again with some more No Man's Sky. Today we are going to be jumping into the Iterebit system for the very first episode of Saturday Systems, where we explore the planets, animals, ships and multi-tools available to us here. A quick note to add is that every single episode of Saturday Systems will always feature an S-Class multi-tool along with the instructions on how to get them. So to kick things off, I'm going to show you how to get this awesome experimental rifle multi-tool in an S-Class fully upgraded with 24 slots. First thing you need to do is make your way to a portal and activate it. Then you'll want to enter this glyph sequence. First glyph is going to be the dinosaur, then the sunrise, next the hexagon symbol, followed by the moth, the triangles glyph, and the TP, then the hurricane, tree, spaceship, triangles, moth, and pause the video here if you need to because the last symbol is going to be the spaceship again. Once you get here, you will be on GOTS 33K5, an icy planet. This is perfect because the minor settlement with the S-Class cabinet is on this planet. The experimental multi-tool is a part of the space station's multi-tool pool. However, when you portal to a new system, you automatically pull from the space station's pool instead of the first planet you land on. So you don't need to go up to the space station and create an auto save and reload there. So to get to the S-Class cabinet, get up into space and look for my save beacon and fly there. Now something I haven't seen before until here is that the two minor settlements next to each other both have S-Class cabinets in them. I already bought the tool from this settlement so it's empty but I'll just go to the other one. And there it is, a beautiful 24 slot S-Class experimental multi-tool. Now that you've got your sweet new tool, there's one more specific location I'd like to share. And that's how you can get a free S-Class exotic. So jump up into your ship, and fly up into space. We are looking for a grassy planet called Ramoni U4. I place the base down near the location for you to go to. There's a teleporter here if you need it, so just fly down. Now this ship is underwater and a little ways offshore, but not too far. The combo I've placed down will tell you the crash site is 400 units due north. So all you have to do is jump out about 400 units. And here it is. If you get lost, the exact coordinates are minus 21.6 and minus 114.15. Enjoy your new S-Class multi-tool and exotic. Now let's get to checking out what the rest of the Iterebit system has to offer.
finally have a 24 slot S Class Experimental. So good. And that's a fully upgraded scanner. That thing looks like a weird armadillo. Oh, a Stegosaurus! Wait, no, it's like a Triceratops too? An anteater with a fin and two tails. It's a weird looking tiger or dog thing. Well, nice, a pilot. I'll take all those mods, thank you. Deadly Rima Bass 2. Stupid last creature, so hard to find, been in caves for hours now. At least they look nice, I guess. Twenty-four slot S-Class rifle for the planet's S-Class multi-tool. Not bad looking either. Looks like a burning planet with volcanoes and stuff. Not much uh, greenery going on here. Loads of small creatures here. Oh damn, they're charging each other. Wait, do they have fish heads? Damn, the thing looks freaky. Happy, but freaky. Oh, it's like a T-Rex! Look at him go! New creature adopted. Okay, some uh, underground ruins, I guess. I'll grab the keys and open the chest, see what's here. And we get a rare item, Potential Shipwright's Brush. Holy, it's worth 2.2 million units. That fella looks buff as hell. Last creature, Crab from a Cave again. All done for new patter. Distress signal from the beacon. Nice.
A-class shuttle. No one around. Free ship. New pattern complete. Let's go check out the S Class multi tool now. A blue and red pistol. That does uh, not look good at all. So, it has beta was a dead world. There was nothing to do here, so I just collected some lava cores, explored a pretty empty cave, and killed some monstrosities. Then I found this ruin, collected the keys and got a fossil worth 700,000 units. Decided to take the Gravitino ball up the top, kill the Sentinels and use my ship to take out the walker. Looted everything and used the walker brain to finish the install of my complex scanner. Inhurst beta is complete, just one more thing left to do now. And the multi-tool actually looks good, a white with orange highlights pistol. Next up, Ramoni U4, Grassy World. Raining straight off the bat. Ten animals to discover here, mixed across everything, land, sea and air. Whoa, he's a big boy. Another megafauna. This one's got little wings on the side. And horns too. Kinda looks a bit like a hippo in the face. Oh, that creature's right there on the hill. 
Oh, look how tiny he is. First underwater creature of the system. Just a small fish. So at this point I was actually getting quite exhausted from trying to find the last two fauna I had. They were underwater animals and I couldn't find them for hours. So in the end I decided to just summon the Nautilon and track down sucker chips while I was looking for the last two fish. And then this happened. Oh my god, that's the exotic! Wow, I just found the sunken exotic. It was only like the sixth ship too. Holy, that's lo that's so lucky! Wow. And we get a Gek Relic and a A-Class Technology Module. The Izent QD3. Such a cool find. And that's the end of Ramona U4. Unfortunately, never found the last two creatures, but I didn't really want to spend the entire day in the ocean looking for them only. And the multi-tool is... A 24 slot white short rifle. Nice. Rania. Rania. Rania? Looks like a desert. A cold desert. All the creatures here are flying animals. Only one place to look then. Guess we just track down bones while looking for the birds. That should be alright. Another creature. Let's go check out the cargo of that freighter then, hey? Well, that wasn't really worth going out of my way for.
Third bird down. These rocks are so good for carbon. In only around 10 minutes, I've gotten over 5,000. Okay, those are some strange rocks, and they give me more diet too. That's odd. Oh look, there's the last animal, all done for Rania. Some fungal mold too, free nanites, yes please. And upload all the creatures for Ranian. One last thing to do now. Another 24 slot white rifle. Not bad. Soso 14, the moon of Ranian, a radioactive world. Well, this looks a lot cooler than the planet. Nine creatures to discover. First creature, a flying worm. A mammal. Another flying worm. And a small dino. What's that over there? A small de- Oh god! Hey, is that a crab? A killer crab? He just killed this big guy here. Another animal done on the list. These worms look pretty cool. I'll try tame one later. Oh, what's that over there? He's underground there.
What is that? A badger with stripes and tusks? That's the last creature! What the fuck is that thing? It's just a bunch of eyeballs on the end of tentacles. Alright then, let's try and tame one of these flying fish. Just a little closer. Well, looks like you can't. That's a bit sad. Last thing for Ososo 14, the multi tool. What have we got? A two tone white and grey 24 slot rifle. Not bad. So, the last thing to do for the Ita Rebit system is to cash in all of the milestone and fauna data we've discovered. And we get 200 nanites for the milestones. And we also get 1,860 nanites for the discovery data. That's really good. Thanks for watching the very first episode of Saturday Systems. I hope you enjoyed your time here as much as I did exploring the Itarebit system. I also hope you enjoy your new multi-tools and exotics. If you learned anything new or just picked up some new gear, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing.